بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم یا علی مدد دس از اگین ا کنٹینیویشن فرام دا پاور ہنگری سو وین واز آئی موسٹ ہرٹ ان لنڈن بائی دا جوز اور ان کراچی بائی مائی فیلو مسلمس ڈیفینیٹلی ان کراچی بائی مائی fellow Muslims I would say in London no Britisher has hurt me we lived in a Jewish community area neighborhood no one hurt me there and here just for world peace I created these pages that I may God help me inspire people who could take action who are in that position to take action. So I did this, did this, sorry, for world peace. And when there is peace, there is prosperity. And this is what Islam teaches us. That uh, also we may first go for peace. Trust, trust is very important. We need to prove to one another that we can uh, keep peace treaties like Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam did with the pagans also and with the Jews and with the Christians, the non-Muslims. But first and foremost, you have to Uh, give that trust so if trust is there that's the best foundation for a good relationship any good relationship and we as Muslims are not supposed to wage war against anyone unless uh, there is great threat against Islam and our Imam says to wage war even His Highness Aga Khan had been reported some person had reported wrongfully that he was beaten up and all that but see even if that report is true no one got up to raise a gun and put the trigger against that person or go after that person pursuing Imam's uh, enemy Hazir Imam His Highness Akhan does not in any way teach these kind of things to his murids they get about with their work they rise above all the menace, the Zalimun, the Mujrimun, uh, the Munafikun. So, I don't know when he would ask us to, uh, our men, to raise, you know, bring a war against people who have hurt them. And there are many people hurting them. I can see this on Facebook too. Uh, there were many. I also answered back, gave them a reply, a reasonable one. Yes, and sorry, I'm going back to that time uh, where uh, this person knew and even admired a lot. He was sending me her pictures, Queen Rania's and uh, he wanted to help Saima Peer uh, because she disagreed with me on music and so Saima Peer too had mentioned uh, Queen Rania's uh, Muslim mission admiring her work 
and the way she takes uh, Islam. And so gathering all this information, as I have a conspiracy against me since Karachi American School, or even before that, uh, to see my mother not well and all, um, it wasn't easy, and there were other things also among this. So I would like to make it clear that uh, I just don't want to get into any controversial issues or any political issues. But if you want to attack me and find me wherever I am, uh, the Quran verse says for the people who are bad, infidels, you may find me, but before that, just remember that God is with me. I know they tried to crucify Jesus Christ. They have trampled upon many a weak people. Thus, there is a prayer in the Quran. Uh, I think in Surah Nisa, why would you not fight when the children, women folk, elderly men folk have been oppressed? So they call upon the Nasireen of God, the helper of God on earth. God, please send us this helper. Yes, it is the verse in Surah Nisa. I've just checked. Uh, I can't see the number because I, I'm not wearing my reading glasses. But I can read this. It's by Yusuf Ali, the translation. And why should you not fight in the cause of Allah? and of those who, being weak, are ill-treated and oppressed, men, women, and children, whose cries, Our Lord, rescue us from this town, whose people are oppressors, and raise for us from thee one who will protect, and raise for us from thee one who will help, so I will just complete the second verse. Those who believe fight in the cause of Allah, and those who reject faith fight in the cause of evil. So fight you against the friends of Satan. Feeble indeed is the cunning of Satan. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad. So sorry, as I took some time, I've forgotten what I said, what the point was. And I hope I'm not repeating myself, but here it, it is, as much as I hope not, that uh, I'm no political person. I've suffered immensely. I've seen my mother suffer, and that is enough for me. I've seen others in Karachi begging in a Muslim city, it's enough for me. I've seen a lot uh, deeply experiencing closely, and it is enough for me. I believe that in Islam, no Muslim is supposed to hurt another, but yet we do, intentionally deceiving and doing things like that, which is against Islam, we should check our minds, our thoughts, uh, bring them to good thoughts, uh, not just get irritated very quickly. Yes, so my point is that uh, I d I'm not a quick person who gets quickly angry, never wanted to. Whatever happened to me happened against my honor. But being a Hashemite volunteer uh, during my Maharam 
Madlises in my mother's area uh, where the Madlises of Maharam were held. I protected uh, my ladies. I was a Hashmi volunteer. It's only recently that some anger, some deep wounds have been opened and I've been provoked. Otherwise, I would not even think about the people who wronged me and I would avoid them for life. I was the kind of person who would think of making my life beautiful. Uh, those whom I touched, their lives, I pray to God, uh, be, be beautiful, blessed. Thank you so much. If it's necessary, I will uh, continue with this power-hungry people video later on.